Investigators the in the Capitol riot. Organization in the world. And what is that? Good proud boys. Hell yeah. What a beautiful day to cover this story when we found out that Enrique Terrio, the leader of the fucking Proud Boys, was an informant. USA! USA! One of the most prominent groups to storm the Capitol on January 6th was the Proud Boys, a right-wing extremist group whose members describe themselves as Western chauvinists. The Proud Boys are taking over D.C. The Wall Street Journal analyzed hundreds of videos from the riot, social media posts, court filings, and interviewed participants in the events and experts on extremism in an effort to piece together the most complete picture of the Proud Boys' role in the events that day. The journal's investigation shows Proud Boys coordinating, instigating, and leading some of the most pivotal moments of the rush into the historic building that disrupted lawmakers' certification of the presidential election and resulted in the death of five people, including one police officer. Yes, Proud Boys leader Enrique Terrio was an FBI informant. After he got arrested in 2012, working with the FBI. Enrique Terrio did nothing wrong. I bet these guys love that, like, he worked with the FBI, though, because they, they're fucking cucks, like... They literally love the police. The only time that they didn't love the police was because they thought the police were fucking an imposition. When they weren't even an imposition to them, they were still on their side. About seven Proud Boys have been arrested so far for their actions at the Capitol, more than any other right-wing group there that day. Proud Boy Chairman Enrique Tario told the Journal, the Proud Boys didn't coordinate their actions or intend to storm the Capitol, and many of the threats that the Journal pointed out were meant as a joke. He also said the Proud Boys don't condone violence unless in self-defense. <clears throat> Tario wasn't at the Capitol that day because he was arrested days before and charged with destruction of property and was banned from the city. The Proud Boys first earned mainstream attention when President Trump and we got motorized Proud Boys too. white supremacists and right-wing militia groups in a September presidential debate. Right, proud proud boys. Boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. The moment emboldened the group. Its leader, Enrique Tario, posted a message on social media shortly after, saying simply, standing by, sir. It has been widely reported that the group planned to attend a rally at the Capitol on January 6th to protest election results. Of course, the only reason why this fucking asshole was not there was because he was so cocky that he literally personally admitted to vandalizing a uh, a, a famous uh, African Methodist church in D.C. in uh, what they are considering a hate crime and literally openly stated it. Like, he was like, it's me. Let me help you by telling you it was I who did that, by the way, and no one else. I did it. And then... He turned around and fucking went back to D.C. before the insurrection, the hog insurrection. And in that hog insurrection, he literally fucking brought uh, high capacity rifle magazines or high, high capacity magazines. And he was caught with them. So they told him, like, you got to fucking leave. I wonder why he didn't get any uh, significant punishment from any of that. Joe Biggs, another leader, called for violence on social media. All right, guys, you want to see all the Proud Boys that are here today? Here we go. Everybody cover up! On the day of the event, more than 100 Proud Boys from around the country were there. Montana. What's up? Six. Like his channel. A Proud Boy live streamer named Eddie Block extensively filmed the group as they met and coordinated. I know, right? Block declined to comment. I know, exactly. In the morning, before a rally near the White House with President Trump, the Proud Boys meet on the east side of the Capitol. Biggs can be seen organizing groups of Proud Boys. He's equipped with a radio. If you're on the outside, making sure you're looking on the outside of the perimeter, no one's sneaking up on us. 
Biggs has since been arrested, and charging documents say he aided, abetted, and commanded others to unlawfully enter the Capitol. The big boss man, Joe Biggs. Biggs and his attorney did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Milkshake's afraid of me because I'm going to kick his ass off. Dan Scott, a proud boy known as Milkshake, can be heard shouting. But is chastised by others. Let's not f-ing yell that, all right? Who's milkshake, man? Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Don't yell it. Do it. <laughs> Scott did not respond to multiple requests for comment. They're so dumb. They can't fucking help themselves. Like they gotta literally just openly state that they're doing crimes on camera. They literally cannot help themselves, dude. Also, Hoggers is so perfect for this. Hoggers is literally the perfect fucking uh, facial. Like, this is exactly how they are. Ha! Oh, Hoggers! Brother, I'm fucking doing crimes, brother! Hell yeah! Some individuals who would hours later participate in the riot can be seen taking part in the rendezvous. There's Michael Porter, who identified himself to the journal as a proud boy. This man, whose identity the journal could not fully confirm in interviews, social media searches, and court documents, can be seen with the group throughout the day, instigating the mob. And Robert Gieswein, who's also with the group throughout the day and is wearing patches suggesting affiliation with Proud Boys and right-wing groups. I gotta get one of these. <laughs> Rallied by Biggs and another leader, Ethan Nordeen, known as Rufio, the Proud Boys coalesce and march on the Capitol. Nordeen declined to comment. Two men on a mission with about 500 behind them ready to kick some butt. Stand up for this country. So the Proud Boys coming in. At around 12.50 p.m., while President Trump has taken the stage at a nearby rally, another live streamer captures the Proud Boys approaching the Capitol from the Northwest and encountering a small police presence behind a temporary barrier. Brother, <clears throat> brother, I am Joey Biggs. I am a Proud Boy. I live in Portland, Oregon. I live in Eugene, Oregon, 1875 Sacramento Street, and I'm here to do crimes, folks. You understand me? I'm here to do crimes. Hello, brother. I'm on camera doing crimes. I love Donald Trump. He'll save me. Biggs huddles with an individual in a red hat and carrying a flag. who just minutes later is the first to charge the barriers. There is no better... American people are getting docked so billionaires can save their money. Massive stock drop right now. Holding. What? Wall Street. Wait. Are they, are they getting banned? Who the fuck does this guy think he is? You're a fucking moderator of a Reddit forum that doesn't even exist anymore? This is a movement now and you're not in it? What? Oh, God. Yeah, nothing, nothing new is happening. Also, this is fucking stupid. Let's just keep going. Proud Boys can be seen in the crowd. Porter told the journal that he participated in a protest, not a riot, and that he did not enter the Capitol. The few police officers there quickly fall back. And the Proud Boys make up a large portion of the first wave to reach the base of the Capitol. Capital, brother. The Proud Boys are rushing to Capitol. Proud Boys are among those who square off with Capitol Police at the base of the building. Dominic Pizzola, a Proud Boy and military veteran known as Spazzo, is on the front lines with a wire in his ear. 
Pozzola's attorney told the journal his client did not coordinate his actions with anyone and that the radio earpiece was for listening to music. This man, who continues to be seen with the Proud Boys, I believe it. You guys are capping, but I believe it. I 100% believe it. Because they're LARPers, dude. They're LARPers. He probably thought it looked fucking cool to listen to music from an IFB. Appears. I'm not even kidding. This man, who continues to be seen with the Proud Boys, appears to be directing members of the mob to the left side of the police line. He then leads a chant. Geeswine is nearby. Nordine, Biggs, and other leadership also take prominent places on the front line near the Capitol steps. A protracted battle between rioters and outnumbered police ensues. And Proud Boys, like Pozzola, can be seen throughout key parts of the confrontation. Around 137, Geeswine tries to push through the police barriers. And an hour later, rioters try to flank the police by climbing scaffolding. Pozzola takes part in the charge. I just want to remind people that that happened this month. Like, that literally happened this month. How fucking insane is this country and in this month so far? It literally feels like it was, it happened like three months ago. And geese wine sprays police with an unidentified substance. Geese wine was arrested for assaulting a federal officer, destruction of government property, entering a restricted area, and disrupting Congress. Geeswine's attorney declined to comment. At around 2.12, Pozzola breaks a window to the Capitol with a police shield. He and Geeswine are among the first rioters to enter the building. Pozzolo was arrested on January 15th for unlawful entry. Look at all these anti-fascists, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy how much uh, Antifa activity was just caught in 4K. You know, the, the entire time I'm thinking, wow. These Antifa guys, they're, they're sh they sure are just so open about, uh, you know, doing an uh, insurrection and uh, breaking the law and stuff destruction of government property and obstruction of an official proceeding. Inside the Capitol, a crowd of rioters encounter Officer Eugene Goodman. They follow him up a set of stairs, coming perilously. Guys, everybody shut the fuck up. Wall Street Bets is back, okay? Chill. Is back to the lawmakers who are just down the hall through the doorway to the left of Goodman. Pozzola and Geeswine are in the crowd. Entering the building close behind is Biggs. You. Biggs, what do you gotta say? You. <laughs> Biggs, what do you gotta say? This is awesome. My name is Joey Biggs, and I think this is awesome. Hoggers, we are doing crimes. It's over! Around the same time, at the base of the building, the police line is breaking apart. And crowds storm more entrances. As larger groups of rioters breach the building, 
parts of the Proud Boys contingent make it inside. Nicholas Oakes, leader of the Hawaii chapter of the Proud Boys, was arrested after boasting about entering the capital on social media. You know motherfuckers are working class when they fly from Hawaii to D.C. to do insurrection. A hog insurrection, that is. That's how you know, the more, the more fucking working class you are, the further away you are from the capital, uh, the, the more expensive the flight is, you know? In the middle of a pandemic, mind you. Yeah. Oaks and his attorney declined to comment. I'm right here. According to the charging documents for Miami Proud Boy, Gabriel Garcia, he roamed the capital. What's your point? How do you not understand what my exact fucking point is there? Are you too stupid to understand what my point is? My point is these motherfuckers LARP is like working class individuals representing the interests of the working class uh, when in fact they are literally just wealthy hogs that love Donald Trump and are just upset that Donald Trump is not the president. They LARP as poor people. They LARP as poor people. They act as though they are the real working class and that, you know, black and brown people that live in fucking uh, these areas, including D.C., are bicoastal elite. You are a spoiled child, dude. You are a spoiled fucking baby. And there's nothing that is more spoiled than being the intergenerational wealth recipient, petty bourgeois bitch that you are, that fucking turns around and flies to DC in the middle of a fucking pandemic, takes like multiple days off to go to a hog insurrection. Capital calling for Nancy Pelosi to quote, come out and play. A lawyer for Garcia said that he did not damage property or commit violence at the Capitol. His comments about Pelosi were in jest, and he wants nothing to do with the Proud Boys. How do you know Since he flew? Maybe he drew? Proud yeah, Boys you're, you're right. ...has tried to downplay their role. But the journal's investigation shows that at every key breach of the Capitol's defenses, the Proud Boys and members of their contingent are at the forefront of the mob and can... Okay. I don't know if I agree with that take. If you're trading labor for cash to a boss in your working class. No, you're right. It's something I talk about all the time. But those who have the capability of fucking taking four days off from their landscaping business that they own are not working class. And so many of these people that we saw are literally that. They own their own business. They own like fucking HVAC uh, businesses and, and uh, landscaping businesses and shit. You are correct that if you are trading your labor for a wage, you are working class. You are a proletariat. But there is, of course, still the concept such as lumpen proles, which these guys fall under, and also petite bourgeois, uh, the petite bourgeoisie, which they are as well. That was me on my way to the insurrection with that fucking real estate agent, baby. That working class term is so outdated. The professional managerial class is not the proletariat just because they don't own capital they work at. Wait, what? No, the professional managerial class is still very much a part of the fucking proletariat. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? The people that say PMC literally fucking turn around and say that like nurses are PMC or like, uh, uh, like adjunct professors are PMC and shit like that. It's so dumb. NBA players are workers? Yes, they are workers.
can be seen coordinating. NBA players who make millions a year are not working class. They sell their labor, but they have way more power than anyone else would have. Oh shit, I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize that if you are in a, uh, in a sector where your union contracts allow you to have a larger distribution of the profits, that automatically disqualifies you. This is a really, this is a, what Karl Marx actually intended, which is the more workers have power, the less worker they are. Yes, this is something that is shocking to you, maybe, but uh, the multi-millionaire NBA players are literally fucking workers when they are working for the multi-billion dollar franchises that they work for for a goddamn salary. And just because their salary is neat and a significant sum of the value that they add on to the brand, which they are still being exploited under regardless, but just because uh, their, their uh, contracts are better off than the average worker and what they would be able to ever make from the value that they generate for their company does not change that reality. They are still workers. Not only are they... Uh, you think LeBron is an exploited worker when he is playing as a basketball player? Yes, he is. Yes, LeBron beyond that probably has assets. He has uh, he engages in uh, uh, buying stocks. He has ownership over corporations or companies, whatever. But yes, LeBron James as a player is still, as a basketball player, is still very much a worker. He brings in $200 million a year, or however many millions of dollars a year, but his value to the league is much more than that. LeBron James is a worker as a hobby. Yeah, LeBron James plays basketball as a hobby. Dude, really? How pathetic of a take is that? When the motherfucker is nothing without all of the many years of backbreaking labor that he put in to get to the position that he got to. What a fucking stupid take. Not like he was a fucking jet ski dealership uh, wealth recipient. Like he literally worked his goddamn ass off and you're sitting here being like, oh, he's just all, he's doing a hobby. Listen, man. The problem here is, like, these are, this is the type of conversations, these are the type of takes that straight up fucking uh, divide uh, people that are aligned along the same lines. Um, divide people that have the same material interests. You understand? The worst part about it is that, like, I hear these kinds of takes. I hear these kinds of takes from right wingers all the time. So it's so strange when I hear it from left wingers who engage in that same kind of reactionary point of view, which is like leftism is when you have no money, and the less money you have, the more leftist you are. And instigating. Authorities have arrested about seven Proud Boys. Basketball players are more of a worker than Elon will ever be. Absolutely, fucking literally, brother. Like a million times over. Just like LeBron James is more of a worker than some dude who is, uh, who is the owner of a fucking HVAC store. Doesn't matter if LeBron James makes more money in a single day than that other guy does. Ultimately, he is a worker and the other guy isn't. So far for their role in the attack. Other Proud Boys have threatened more violence. Jake, this is a shot across the bat. And that's not me. Like, and that's not anyone else. Next time we come armed. Porter told the journal he made this statement as an individual, not as a representative of the Proud Boys. Proud Boy leadership was unapologetic about the violence in a live stream after the riots. I've answered reporters uh, for the past week. Oh, interesting that he's wearing an FBI hat, dude. That's crazy. Foreshadowing much, dude?
I keep saying, well, the Proud Boys planned this. And this is this f***ed up, and they've told me to denounce it. Listen, I'm not going to denounce it. Sorry, guys, I forgot to give you a trigger warning. White guy with dreadlocks. We, we passed it already, but, you know, that's a, that's a post-trigger trigger warning. Terrio told the journal that his and Bake's comments in this show were expressing the views of Trump supporters who have felt marginalized by the system. It's only going to get worse, and that's what people don't understand, is the more you push the bear, the more you poke the bear, the bear is going to come back.